Oh my good job. <laughs> what did you think of that? Was that a big adjustment? Oh yeah, that's a huge, huge um. Was it loud? Was it very what, loud? <laughs> very loud and just like felt, felt. No, it felt so good. Yeah, like a lot's going on, right? Does this ever give you any kind of pain or discomfort in this area? Um, honestly, I do a lot of lifting. Yeah. So I can never really distinguish like if it's more of a just a soreness or. Does it get you pinpoint know? in here? Like like right here. Do you ever feel it like right there? Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. So that's that's definitely gonna if it's more pinpoint like that, that's gonna it's just telling us that, that this joint isn't moving as a as well as it could. It's not a hundred percent like it should be, okay? Gotcha. Your hips though are actually very, very well, especially for some of the past trauma that you've had in them. I know, I went through so much physical therapy, I'd hope they were yeah, well, you know what? I can tell <laughs> you that it, it did a great job. Awesome. Because normally when we come in, when people come in here, 95% of people come in here and I push their legs like this, Yeah. they're not balanced. Yours are showing balance. So you have great range of motion in your really? sacroiliac joints, which is your sacrum is this tailbone right here. Uh -huh. Your iliums are the side hips, and these connect with what's called the sacroiliac joint. And usually that joint has... Uh, dysfunction, a lot of dysfunction, because most people sit and, and just have chronic issues there. Yours are doing pretty well, okay? Your lumbar spine on the right side here, this is where we're running into an issue, because this needs to move better, so this joint actually needs to just open up and rotate into a, a better alignment, basically. As we're climbing up the spine, the next thing I'm noticing is just how stiff these upper lumbar vertebrae are. So these, these are going to um, be able to move a lot better as well and they'll basically feel more springy so you have a little more give to them mm -hmm. which is what we want so that stress doesn't build up so when we're looking at this can you feel how tight it feels oh, yeah. when I'm pushing not a lot of give in there and the harder this area gets the more trouble we're gonna have more trouble for your lungs to expand and your rib cage to expand when you're breathing more pressure on all of the internal organs in there um, and just overall general stiffness as well so that causes a lot of muscle imbalance so we want to get this moving better adjustments are going to help that tremendously this is all stuck 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 just kind of all the way up your whole thoracic area now as we're climbing up into the shoulders one of the things that we're going to look for this is another hot spot called the scapulothoracic articulation. Let me show you exactly what that looks like. Bring your arm on your low back, Julie. Okay, so when you do this, we're gonna notice that there's this kind of wing. This, is, this would be the wing on a bird, okay? Mm -hmm. Now this wing here, where this wing has um, attachment points with soft tissue to the rest of the spine and the body, we run into a lot of issues. So you can feel the little knots in there and you can even see on camera the little, feel that? Oh yeah. Yeah, so, and, and what does that feel like? What when is I, that right there? That's like a knot. It, that's exactly like a, what it is, it's a, a knot. <laughs> yeah, it's a knot. So there's gonna be trigger points, there's gonna be myofascial bands in there, and there's gonna be muscle spasms. And those are three, just uh, three of many other things that we check for, look for, and correct. And basically, and we can bring that arm back down. Basically, when you have these knots in here, these are holding you back. So a big knot of the, uh, you feel that? Oh yeah, that's where, my, that's where it hurts right now. Yeah, so a big knot like this is not able, Ooh. and you can just feel the, the problem, this dysfunction there. This is not going to be able to get oxygen, nourishment, and nutrients like it needs. The other thing that's happening here, this is what we would call a catch-22. Basically what that means is this knot is, kind of think of it like spaghetti. Instead of it being nice and straight and balanced like those uh, muscle fibers and sarcomeres are supposed to be, they start to get tangled up and pinched and um, basically just not in a good position, kind of like spaghetti all tangled up in and on, in and on itself. We don't want that because when we have tangled up tissues, they don't get a lot of the circulation that needs um, to be there for them to be healthy. So they're not getting the blood flow, which has the oxygen and the nourishment and the nutrients. 
So a number of different things we have going on in here. There's scar tissue as well, so you'll feel like a grittiness. Do you feel that? Oh yeah. The grit right there, is that real tender too? Yeah, it hurts. Hurts. That's like the side that's bothering me. Yeah. That grittiness is actual scar tissue building up, adhesions building up in there as well. Okay. And when I am just looking at your shoulders, this right side is a lot higher than the left side. We're talking an inch higher on this side than this side, okay? Again, due to that muscle tension, there's a lot going on in here. The left is going to have problems as well. A lot different, right? Mm-hmm. You can still feel it. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, still feel a little bit of that band right there. A little, yeah. Major difference between this over here. Oh, yeah. It's a major difference. And we can even see it's just, this is just getting red just from me touching it. It's already causing a lot of redness in there, which is another sign that there's obviously problems. Um, this is where it starts to get interesting because what we're finding, Julie, is you have more dysfunction on the right uh, scapulothoracic articulation. However, when we climb into the cervical spine, as we get past the lower cervical into the neck, it actually changes to the left side. Okay? Let me show you that. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Feel how big of an issue that is? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to this side. Feel the difference. I don't even feel that over there. Yeah. A little, a little bit. bit right yeah, there. a little bit. But not let's, at the top. Yep. Like let's go back over. Whoa. Yeah. So, a lot of dysfunction on the left cervical spine crosses over, and a lot of dysfunction on the right scapulothoracic articulation. I'm going to have you resist and push towards me. I'm going to push towards your feet. So go ahead, push towards me. Okay. So very nice. Do you feel how strong that is? It's a nice signal. Your arm's kind of locked into a good position. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. We're going to bring this one up. We're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and push towards me. Okay. So on this one, it's a lot different. You feel that? Yeah. You're trying to resist twice as hard, yeah, and it's still just going weak, right? Yeah. And um, it just feels weaker. Mm -hmm. Is there any pain or discomfort when we do that as well? Or um, Let's try again. Really push know. towards me. Don't let me push. Okay, A so, little, actually. Yep. Pretty good. Yep. So that's going down, I would say, about 70% loss of what it's supposed to be. Um, you know, just doing a general uh, estimate there. However, we can clearly see it's not functioning like the right side is. That is letting us know there's definitely going to be some functional issues when it comes to the nerve control of that side. What's really cool, Julie, is when we adjust that, we are going to be looking for that to turn on and get fixed almost immediately. Um, and it's going to be pretty awesome to see that. So remember how weak that arm is, okay? Because when we fix it, I want you to see the difference and be able to compare the, the difference, okay? Okay. All right, first thing we're going to do is fix that discrepancy on the left side and also that lumbar spine. So let's have you facing me. You're going to be on your spine, on your side, okay. on your spine. <laughs> We're going to bend this top leg. This is going to straighten at the bottom. Very nice. We're going to scoot forward. That comes there. I do it this arm. You're going to just relax that there. That's okay. there. We're going to come over. This comes down just nice and easy. Okay. Very nice. We'll go to the other side. What did that feel like? Um, like instant relief. Like it opens up. <laughs> Any pain or discomfort? No, not at all. Good. Okay. This is where we're going to adjust in the lumbar. So this holds here. You, we're focusing there, okay? So we want to relax. There it is. Nice and easy. And then face down. Good. Be here. Okay. Remember we talked about this getting real stiff and tight? Yeah. We're going to release all that pressure out of there, okay? Mm -hmm. To do that, it's going to be real simple. I'm just going and doing... Very, there it is. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Very specific adjustments here. So we're coming down. Perfect. Good. Okay. I can tell it gets a little tighter up there. What we're going to do is have you take a nice big breath in. Breathe in for me. Let the breath all the way out. As you breathe out, that just comes down. Good. I know that's so tight in there, Julie. And that's where all that pressure is. So we're going to have to do some advanced adjusting. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to let this open up sideways first. So this just kind of comes over. There it is. Oh Good job. <laughs> what did you think of that? Was that a big adjustment? Oh yeah. That's a huge, 
huge hum. Was it loud? Was it very was, loud? <laughs> very loud and just like but it felt, felt no, it felt so good. Yeah, like a lot's going on, right? But it felt okay. So good. We're gonna go to this side. This is the problem area, so we want to make sure we get that opened up and stretched properly, real easy. Just stretching that over, good, and I can feel all that tension. Perfect. Good job. Very nice. Okay, you are good there. Okay. Now the cervical spine, real simple and easy when we adjust this. This is the area, and it might be the same for you. I'm not sure you can tell me where most people get a little nervous. Does it make you nervous to kind of hold your neck or the thought of adjusting your neck? Does that make you nervous at all? A tad. A tad, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You're no different than most people. I mean, myself included, right? Even when I get adjusted, I still am always kind of tense around the neck area. Right. The cool thing is what we do here in this office is it's not jerky. It's not this um, crazy motion. It's really specific, specialized, and easy. Okay, so what that means is we're just going through the ranges of motion. So obviously you got a problem there. We can feel that. We need to start helping that out. To do that, we're just going to let you turn the head as you turn. Yep, and just relax the muscles. Good. And that goes right back. There it is. Right back into place. <laughs> the hardest part about that's probably the noise. So that was really loud, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, was there any pain or discomfort when we adjusted it? Not at all. Yeah, exactly. So so it's kind of easy to do. It just is intimidating. That sound just sneaks up on you. It does. It does. Now, right here, that's you can feel it. That's the other side, okay? So we're just letting this turn the other way. There it is. I know it's super loud in there. <laughs> okay, everything is doing great. Everything adjusted very nicely. I did want to go over the, when we looked at the x-ray, that's this right here, okay? Feel it? Yeah. That's the side of that bone. That's why it's sticking out like that, okay? Feel the difference on this side? Yeah, huge difference. Big difference there. So, I'm not going to poke on these too much because they're already probably sore from us poking so much. So, um, <laughs> but that will get fixed and corrected over time and it's going to make be a game changer for you. What we're gonna do is sit up at the end of the table. You're doing awesome, we're almost done. So a minute ago, or a few minutes, moments ago, we checked the arm on this side and it was good. Let's retest it and check this side. You're gonna push back towards me. Okay, still pretty good. This side, not so much. Let's retest it. You're gonna push back towards me. Go ahead and push, okay. Look at that. Much better. Way better, so now. <laughs> I felt so weak, I yeah. didn't even push it. Now when I pushed, I was actually hurting me to try to push because I was like trying to get in there. Um, that's a big, big difference. I mean, just huge difference from where we were to where we are. So that's a good sign. That's letting us know the cervical spine had a lot to do with the um, impingement that you were having. Okay. The last thing we're going to do is just a nice, easy stretch for the legs and the ankles. This comes down, just making you a little taller here. Very nice. And then this comes over. Very nice. That's your talus on your ankle. And we can go ahead and sit up. What you're going to want to do is pay attention to how you feel after today's adjustment. Because next time you come in, let me know. It gives me feedback. The more I know how your body's responding, that we can change and modify anything that we need to. As well as um, move as quickly as possible to start getting everything fixed up. When you come in next time, we'll go over the x-rays in more depth and detail so you know exactly what's going on. And then they have some instructions for you up front to help this adjustment hold as well as possible, as well as feel as good as possible. You're all I feel set. great right now. Yeah, good. You're all set. <laughs> awesome. Good job.